about the Alex Saffer or anything like that. There were no certificate in cab cure. It's called butter ink. And drink that, that's what you're cure for cab. It's true. It's oh, yes, no, I don't know. Yeah. It's called a butter ink for a sore throat. Oh, yeah. 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 Couple of spoons of sugar in the lump of butter and the lump of butter. You've got to go crudely, you can't stop. Curse all sorts. Father McEwen, I'm sure, of the daughter, about she was eight or nine years old. She used to have pain on the regular, and then every day she'd have this pain on the ear. My mother got the rest of the way, used to come to confession down there. I drove her down the pond and came and brought this girl with us. And father taught Father McGee, and he'd put uh, on a stone and he put the end of it on the ear. They went for about ten minutes out of a book. We're going home, this pain went away, and never came back anymore. So they can't show it. They don't show it, it's God show it, but, you know, they, miracles do happen still to it. I had a, a cousin, and she used to make ointment for bones. And there was a man, a cousin of hers as well, fell in, into a but, you know, pot, um, it's, it's a porridge, you'd say to us, that they had boys for the, to make the, to go on stuff for pigs. And he fell into this and he got burnt. All, lot of, half the skin was burnt. And he got out of it completely with the ointment she had. And then there was a lad down in you know, Jane Moore, when he had a cure for cancer, if you had it on the outside of you. It was on the outside, on the inside of course he wouldn't do it, but on the outside. Leslie Dakin was in there. Yeah, yeah, he don't mind. He cured all of I think on the outside he cured, but on the inside he wouldn't be able to. I had it in Mayo. Then I went to Leslie. And uh, I took 600 bread poultices for to take it out of Mayo. And Annie, Annie, Annie did all that. That'd be last up. Hmm. And it came out now that... Remember me and Bob, what he was afraid of, that, that they, you know, if you break the roots, that stay, still stay in your arm, you know. But it came out. And I remember sitting at the table when it came out on this poultice, you know. And Annie said, what are you going to do with it? Peter, she said, oh God, I said, straight into the fire. <laughs> Oh yes, it's a bit, yeah. a bit that nature. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To live yeah. a hole behind that it. That came out, came out that way. To live a hole behind it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Live yeah. a hole behind it. Well, that still, still so. Still so. So there. That was Leslie, Leslie. That was Leslie, yeah. 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 You used to get the cure for that in cotton stone. It used to grow on the sand. You used to mix that up with stuff. Something else that he, what, he used an egg as well. Oh, you did, yeah. Yeah, and this this thing that grew in well, Colza. Where we're going, Colza. Yeah. yeah. Some sort of a herb or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People, people posted that they were in pneumonia. They were interesting as antibiotics. Oh, not at all, no. They were posted with linseed meal for pneumonia. Yes, yes. My mother, when I was very small, she had pneumonia and rheumatic fever together, the two. For the fit for the romantic fever, she was about three hot water bottles down each side of the bed, sweating the fever and But she got pneumonia then as well. How she lived, no one knows. She was poultry with limited meal every four hours. And when she was done with that, she was painted with a jacket of iodine, what they call it. A jacket, painted with iodine, they said a jacket of iodine. After that. That'd be so great. No, for she did not deny her. Oh, nothing. Her nothing. Her. nothing. No. 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 She did not do very well. Oh, you're in America, she did. Yeah. She was only six years of age. I remember, though. Mm. Saw it. Did you put salt in the stocking for a sore throat? Was it around your neck? Put it around your neck. Yeah. For a sore throat. Put it in the stocking. Take it around your neck for a sore throat. Put it in your heels for chill plants. Mm. Did you hear that? I did. And the more sort of find out on the shop and you eat the salt the better. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's supposed to be very good for you to, to dig up the root of the dandelion. 
and uh, clean it and boil it and drink it. But you know the yellow blossoms on top, they're supposed to be very good. You, you pull all them and put them into a jug, put boiling water on them, strain them off and put it in a bottle and take some of them for about six, six weeks, is it? Mm, no, you think and then you stop. Three days and stop for four days. They can for three well, that's when you begin, yeah. Mm. But uh, the man gave it to my daughter. He said that it cured a woman with cancer, she had on her shoulder. So it's supposed to be very good. Or even you can have it on salads too, sure. Because there was a, there was a, a man, not lived too far away from here. He, um, he had cancer here. And he was in the hospital, he had it treated and I hadn't seen it for a long time now. And uh, so this day I happened on him anyway. And I said, well Paddy, how are you, how are you going on since? Got him the finest, he says. But you know what happened? He said, I oh got this other side, he said. You did? Yeah. And uh, so gone, when I tell you to see what happened. <coughs> I said to myself, he said, there's something out there that can cure that. He Jesus says I tried everything. And he don't want to cure me, he says, oh, dandelion. I was on one or lads in different shores long ago. Um, and and one of them's in kettle getting it get um power up an eye then. Some other old lad mix it up together and give it to him. They'll be alright in a few days. No, there are not many help to be it. Mary, do you ever hear from your blood chest? Huh? Goose Chris. Yeah, but I have to put it on old men's boots. On my chest. It was supposed to be good to save the leather. You had to wash the boots, the first the walking boots, and then get this bag of goose flesh and rum, and I used to hate doing it. Well, what you got for the chest, though? For a bad chest? Oh, for your chest. I had a bad chest that time. You got the bad chest and rum from the boots. I said, it was so.